Welcome back to the shop. Greg Gimlick here. Uh, today we're going to look at another uh, possibility for converting one of your radios to 2.4 spread spectrum. Uh, today we're going to take my trusty old Multiplex Royal Evo 12, which is currently set up on a 72 megahertz system, and we're going to convert it using the Watronix 2.4 it's a dual frequency hopping spread spectrum system. Uh, this is a box that everything comes in. I'm going to readjust the camera, kind of get you looking down over my shoulders. We'll do the talking hands thing and you can follow along and uh, take just a couple of minutes and I'll show you what's in the box and convert the radio. Okay, we're all set to get started here. Uh, this is the box that the system comes in. It's a nice plastic box, well protected for everything. And we open this up. First thing we see is an instruction manual. Uh, I ordered the micro system. They make uh, a larger system for giant scale airplanes that uh, has voltage regulators and gyros and GPS and everything else available. I bought a basic system for my radio, uh, which would be more than enough for, for most of us uh, flying out the field. Uh, included in my system was a uh, starter kit for the uh, SD card. Uh, if you've got a micro SD card reader and all that, that's probably not necessary. You can save yourself a couple dollars there. Uh, I use compact flash in my big camera, so uh, it was necessary just to get that. Uh, opening up, first thing we see is I ordered the 12 channel receiver. It's got two antennas about 8 inches long. You can see there's 12 outputs for servos and battery connectors. Nice size. Uh, this is a little audio speaker. Uh, this, uh, there are programs uh, where you can set it up to beep for uh, at a timing or if you reach a temperature or uh, low voltage in the airplane you can get an audio alarm. Just a little something, it's only a couple dollars more so I added that. This is the little module that will actually plug into the radio and we'll see that in just a minute. And this is the mount that will go down through the antenna tube of the radio, plug in the back of the module where it plugs onto my PC board. And then this mounts on the top of the antenna mount of the radio. And then the transmitter module attaches to that. This is the transmitter module. This is what will actually replace the antenna on the radio. It's a little different. You're used to saying a couple of program buttons. It's got a USB, the micro SD. Uh, port and this is the audio port for the little speaker I showed you and there are lights that show status error and test factors and then where it mounts on top this just slides right into this little indentation then this wire when you orient it properly will plug right in here the next step is to get your radio ready to convert so my multiplex Royal Evo 12 for this it's a pretty simple step, slide off the back. First thing you do is remove your 72 megahertz. I've got a scanner in here also, but it all comes apart as one unit. We'll remove that, push the antenna down and pull that out. And from there you're ready to start your conversion process. From there it's also very simple. First thing we'll do We'll take our wire, and it's got a little label on here that uh, you can snip off. It's just a serial number. I'm going to see if it'll slide down with that on and just leave it on. And it does. comes right through the other end. And I'm not going to press this in. When this presses in and it, it kind of locks in place with an O-ring. I'm going to plug my cord into this, and it's keyed. So it'll only go in one way. And you want to make sure it's fully seated. And when it is, you'll hear a little click. Now, this will plug into the module board. And watch your antenna wire that has you've just fed. Just kind of feel to where you line up on your pins. and until it seats. Don't force anything. Make sure you're lined up so you don't bend your pins. Make sure your wire is routed around and we 
may end up using zip ties someplace just to make sure this doesn't interfere with the charge port. And I'm going to just kind of loosely set that up in the top of that for the time being. And just to make it a little more stable when I stand it up. And as you can see, I want to make sure that this is not pinched when I put on the back cover of the radio. And it isn't. Snap that too. Now, you can see this, once again, you've got a keyed plug. When we go in one way, snaps in place. Lock that in, and you can see that this is going to go right in to the old antenna port, and it pushes down. It's kind of firm because that O-ring holds it solid. We come up, throttle cut active, gives you your normal messages, and you're set to go. From there on in, it's all programming. Uh, I'll get the stuff set, battery in that. I'll show you how to bind this up. We'll see what signals we're getting here. We're getting error because it's not programmed to do anything yet. And that's all there is to converting the radio to the new Watronics 2.4 system. So we'll be back in a minute and do a little bit more. Okay, a quick check of the manual, which always helps. I've swamped, the, the error light was telling me I'm swamping the signal by having the receiver powered up and too close to the transmitter. They recommend being a half meter apart. Once I did that, I've got solid green lights on both the receiver and the transmitter. As you can see, as I pull them together, it just swaps the signal. As soon as you pull them apart, you get a solid signal. So we did everything right, everything's working properly, and from there on, it's just a matter of getting our airplane set up. Two ways to program this uh, there's a Giga Control software package. You download it from the Watronic site and you can program everything from the radio from there. That's going to be a separate video. It's quite a, a, an interesting program. And uh, we're going to set this up in an airplane. We're going to do some programming. We'll get the SD card installed here. It just slides right in there. And it will give us warnings for temperature, battery voltage, and uh, something else. Oh, signal strength if, if there's a breakdown in the signal. So that's it. We're ready to go. The next time uh, we come back, uh, we'll move into the programming phase.